Yo, what is going on beautiful people? Welcome back to yet another video. This video is going to be completely different simply because I never make League of Legends videos and I never do commentaries on them. On this channel there's some uh, videos that are that were uploaded months ago that were just uh, taken from my uh, stream let's say. Um, but now I decided to take a little bit different approach on this channel and just do videos whenever I feel like talking about a certain thing. Um, so today I actually have a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. In the background you're actually gonna be witnessing a game where I play with a couple of my friends against Silvers in a ranked flex 3v3 game and we do have Masters MMR. And the, the best thing is actually, in the end, you're gonna be able to see how much LP we actually got for this game, which makes absolutely no sense, but it is not something I want to talk about um, in this game. Now, basically, what I'm wondering is, why does, why does League of Legends allow us, let's say, master players in 3v3, I'm a, like, I'm a very, very dedicated 3v3 player, just putting it out there, but I'm just wondering, why does League of Legends allow us to be matched with uh, with silver players like why does League of Legends allow challengers or masters to get matched with silvers it makes absolutely no sense and I don't know why it's even allowed now it's worth mentioning that this was played early in the morning and it was after 20 minute queue time but still I think it's better to not put us in the game like that rather than having a game where, you know, people are just freaking silver and it's a free win. Now, I don't mind it myself, you know, I don't care. Uh, like, I got 35 LP for this game. 35 LP in Diamond 3. New season, by the way. But getting 35 LP like that, that can be abused so badly that it just makes no sense. It shouldn't be allowed. Now, I personally don't mind it. It's free, free game, free LP. But I wish that 3v3 had a little bit more competition. Like right now we have a couple of people that, you know, just uh, push to the to higher ranks. Sadly, I can't really play that much League, but when I do, I play 3 simply because I enjoy it. But I, I currently prioritize playing old school RuneScape over um, League simply because, well, I do have a main channel there. And it's currently kind of my hobby, kind of my job, so I put more time into it. But coming back to League of Legends, like, why is this in the game? It makes no sense to me, and it probably will make no sense to me, like, ever. And the, the fun part is, I actually contacted League of Legends, right? Official freaking support site, you contact them, you ask them, Oh, yo, um, League of Legends, by the way, um, do you mind answering me? Why do I get, ma get matched with Silvers when I'm Challenger? Now, that comes from back in the day when I actually solo queued all the way, all the time in 3v3. So I go, I went in, queued in solo, waited 20 minutes, next thing you know, I had a silver, two silver players in my team playing against three pre-made uh, master players. And now, you know, what can I do with two silvers? You know, you would automatically lose these games. If you didn't play in peak times, you would get at least one literal troll player in your team and you wouldn't be able to play alone. So therefore, boom, you have 3v3, you have, um, you have, you need to have teammates in order to get somewhere. And now I'm, I'm, I'm also wondering why doesn't League of Legends just add solo queue to 3v3? It could be like 5v5. It wouldn't be that hard. Everyone would have to solo queue, but then again, we might find the same problem, right? But I think it would at least be fairer than matching a solo queue player, right? The, the person that solo queues in 3v3, matching the, him against three pre-made flex players that are all like masters, because that's usually what happens. Those three players are gonna be waiting half an hour or 20 minutes to find the game, and then that uh, one solo player is just gonna have a silver and is gonna lose the game. And that is literally what happens most of the times. Now in this game, in particular, we played three as three pre-made against three pre-mates. But in most games, what actually happens is someone solo queues is high rank and then the other two people are just low rank. And for me, that's just stupid. That makes absolutely no sense. And I think that shouldn't be in the game. Um, so that's one of the topics that I, I, I really wanted to like mention is like, I think Riot should do something about 3v3 now. I just wish there were more people that would be like as dedicated as we are and just looking at the footage back like this game was just such a meme like we were just diving them from literally level one um, and it was just stupid. Now coming back to threes I actually want to touch on the subject that um, I think GB99 had in one of his videos saying that Summoner's Rift is perfect and 3v3 isn't. Now, I was cringing a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, when I watched that video, I was cringing a little bit, because he played 3v3 completely wrong, he played it completely off meta, so he didn't put research in it, they played the jungler, 
And in 3v3, right now, at this very moment, if you know what you're doing, you're gonna defeat or beat jungle meta 100% of the times with the support meta, if you know what you're doing. Or let's say, maybe not 100% of the times, because there are some scenarios where jungler can pull off an early gank and kill you, but you should expect that as a top laner, and you should be ready to, you know, react accordingly to what happens. But yeah, I watched his video, and he was like, yo, 3v3 is imbalanced, 5v5 is very balanced. And then they're like, you're playing 3v3 wrong. Now what he did was, uh, as I said, they had the jungler, so on and so forth, and they just didn't play the same meta. Um, but what you usually want to do in threes is have a hyper uh, on top with a support. And what you do is you take all the camps and you push the waves and then you try to invade the enemies and try to steal their camps and get lead that way. Usually two camps are worth the same amount as a kill or sometimes three camps, like, I don't figure now. We usually always say going for a camp or two camps is more beneficial than actually getting a kill, um, which may be wrong, some 3v3 players may correct me there, but uh, yeah, usually the case is you do want to steal the camps because you get just so much out of it. And you can see, you always roam with your support, you usually take a support that has heavy CC, Sichuani works great with like any form of melee bruiser or melee hyper, let's say. Then you have uh, champs like Braum that works really, really well with AD carries and stuff like that. If people actually like 3v3 videos, I might do a whole video about, j just speaking about what is good in threes, just kind of coaching people, because I also get a lot of questions about it, what really works. Right now what we're running with the friends, these are actually just my in real life friends that I got hooked into threes. Um, that, that's actually pretty cool. Um, because usually, as I said earlier, I, I would always have to play alone. Now, back in the day, uh, when I still played under the name Best List in Europe, I didn't have that problem, because I was rank 1 in the ladder, I could play with whoever the fuck I wanted. But since I don't really put that much time into League anymore, and I'm not on the top of the ladder, I can't really afford to do that anymore, so I, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I just uh, invited some friends over, and now we are actually playing threes quite a lot. We do lose... Um, quite quite some games against better players, but uh, you know it's just uh, it's it's whatever, honestly. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to also talk about was um, I kind of lost my track out there. Never did the video like that before, so it's a little bit awkward for me. But I think I was talking about good combinations in 3v3 at the moment. Now in the top, you have so many variations that it's really hard to mention. But usually a support uh with high CC, let's say Leona um. Um, Leona, Sejuani, Braum, Alistar, freaking Nautilus, everything that has good CC works very well. Uh, support players take Exhaust and Heal or Exhaust and Ignite. You don't take Flash in 3v3 simply because early fights are so important. And also if the enemy team has a jungler, Exhaust is just so much better. And in general, just thousands of 3v3 games played indicated that Flash on support in 3s is just not worth it. Because there's very little let's say, walls or things that where, where Flash would actually benefit a support. Very little situations where that could uh, could actually be the case. So, always run Exhaust Heal or Exhaust Ignite on the supports. Also, Hypers take Smite and Flash most of the time. I mean, always. Uh, and Hypers can literally be anything. It can be AD carries, it can be... Uh, bruisers, everything can work as a hyper, well, not everything, but a lot of things, so uh, let's just say a couple of really, really good hypers right now, let's say Xin, you have some of the AD carries, like let's say Trist, Vayne, um, Xayah, extremely strong champion, then you have uh, stuff like uh, Trundle, Jarvan, and literally in, in top there's so many things that you can play, but when it comes to bot lane, there is a pretty limited champion pool, you want to take something that can shove, something that um, can one-shot kind of or, or let's say something that has a good team fight. What we usually run is Sejuani, Xin, Vagar. This is our go-to comp if we can. It's really, really strong. But usually, let's say bottom lane champions like Orianna, Lissandra. Lissandra is, by the way, really good. You can jump over the wall, shove really fast, but you can get outranged by certain champions. But yeah, you, you want to take champs that can shove, that have, um, you know, that have uh, good roam potential. Let's say Orianna, Syndra. Um, even Anivia, he, you can wall people off, shove really fast. Champions like that strive in 3v3. And if you're looking, uh, let's say, into climbing some elo yourself, 
try going bot lane if you're solo queuing or if you're 3v3, uh, I mean, if you're playing with two friends, uh, try to run a support meta and uh, basically all you do is you follow uh, your hyper around and hyper does uh, all three camps and then goes to lane, pushes lane, tries to steal some of the camps, does, do your camps, stuff like that. Um, that's what you want to go for. Try to go for that meta and see if you can climb some of the ladder. I think getting diamond in threes is one of the easiest thing in the world simply because there's not that much competition. It's just a small little advice but anyways I, I'm going all over the place with this video it's so hard for me to to, to freaking talk about I don't know how Jibei does it honestly I, I find the I find a pretty big role model in Jibei but goddamn dude these videos are freaking hard to make I'm gonna start to freaking script everything and then I'm freaking no anyways I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the video just showcasing some of the funny moments or maybe just l let you guys hear our commentaries when we're having some fun stomping some silvers and until next time, good luck in... Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, have a good day and I'll see you again, hopefully soon, with more League of Legends videos or maybe different content. Who knows? Have a good one, guys, and bye-bye. Reported for tryhard. Yes. <laughs> You're not allowed to win. Only we are. Is that my Moonflare Spellblade? It's actually pretty good. No way. Miku, you can't see look at my build, they think it's legit. Oh yeah. Finish. Right, right, I'll go to bed one. after this one as well. I'm gonna have a wank wing with the bed. <laughs> Actually, good shout. <laughs> I agree, good one. <laughs> nah, like, what the fuck was that though? I I wanna see how much LP we got for this one, no joke. Three. Find that, Mika. I'm a KDA player. <laughs> you have no mana. She's coming back. You're retarded. Dude, kill, them all, kill them all. Kill them all, dude. Oops. No, you could do it. You could do it. You could do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was this game, dude? Why are they speaking some foreign <laughs> years? <laughs> they were like Coco team. Like what the fuck, dude? Oh man, wait, hold I on. The moment of truth. The moment of truth, hold up. I'm D3. I got... Wait, I, I'm laughing too much. How much LP? 34 have? LP! 35! <laughs> <laughs> what? 35 LP! What? <laughs> <That's>... What? <sighs> Challenger 3v3 is hard, man, I tell you that much. <laughs> oh my god. Oh.